Hey guys. In the last video we talked about setting up the x-axis. It came out pretty good. For this video we're going to talk about the y. What I did and how I did it. So again these are 2,000 millimeter linear rails. They came as a set. They were like a hundred bucks. Not too bad. I designed adjustable belt supports for each end. This is the motor support down here. They actually, these little support bars right here, you can adjust this back and forth to tighten the tension on the belt. <clears throat> as far as the plate, I drew up what I wanted and then I sent a DXF file out to a company. The local company I use is, is called Kingdon. I'll put a link in the description. But I'm sure wherever you're at, you'll have a company similar. I sent them a PDF of what I wanted and the DXF file for the actual drawing. I also included the bed. So it was a 24 by 36 inch aluminum bed. They cut both of them out of quarter inch aluminum. And because they laser cut, they came with all the holes and everything. The only thing I had to do was countersink the holes for the bearings. So instead of doing finger twists on the leveling, I'm going to do a three, three axis level, but I'm going to use stepper motors. So the theoretically, I haven't got it all figured out yet, but the printer is going to self level its bed. So you no more adjusting by hand. It'll use the BL touch, measure it, adjust it, That'll be a whole video all by itself. I did just get these. They are floor casters for furniture. But basically I'm going to use them to mount the bed for the three axes so it'll have flexibility as it twists. But I haven't figured out exactly how I want to do it, but that's what those are. I'll let you guys know when, when I get farther with that part of the design. I just haven't quite decided. I printed belt holding belt holders. Pretty simple. I'll put all the drawings and this stuff up so you can see it. And that's pretty much it for that. The y-axis was pretty simple. It's just linear rails. I had to print the plate, make belt tensioners, and then my whole idea <clears throat> for automatic three-level, three-axis leveling. That'll be a firmware thing I've got to work out with the computer. But if you can do it for a XY core, I don't know why you couldn't do it for a flatbed. If anybody has any ideas on that, let me know. But that's it, guys.